Hello and welcome. My name is Jason Boswell from Microfocus. Um, today we're going to talk about the file analysis suite and we're going to do another data discovery 10 minute demo. So this is um, going to talk about risk assessments using sampling. So this is a new feature with inside um, 3.4 release of data discovery on the file analysis suite. So let's, let's first of all describe the use case. So I'd see here as the chief security officer or someone who's responsible for managing risk with inside an organization, we need to find out where our sensitive data is with inside very large file systems, could be in Teams channels, OneDrive, could be an exchange. This data could be in the cloud or it could be on premises. But we need to get the results as quick as possible. Um, how do we get the results as quick as possible? Well. We know that if we've got petabytes worth of data to analyze, then if we send out any analysis process, it's going to take some time to get the results back. So we're going to use some a new feature called sampling, which gives us the ability to get those results much quicker. So our main use cases, we, we're going to do some data discovery. We want to know your data. We want to find where our sensitive data is. And the output is that we want to have a look at some of these analytics and produce some reporting so that we can use the analytics and reporting to prioritize some further actions. What would those further actions maybe? Maybe more detailed analysis, maybe some cleanup actions, or maybe some risk mitigation to, to protect that data. Okay, so what's the forces driving this change? So, of course, one of the key things that's driving this particular change is that we're dealing with very large uh, volume of data. And, and that data is keep growing. And that data is, is constructs of many in, across many different repository types and in, in many different locations, both, like I said, on-premise or in the cloud. So we, organizations and our chief security officer knows <coughs> that we've got to meet stricter regulations. So we've got these strict regulations and we need to meet them to really address the business pains, to protect the organization's brand and reputation, to build trust with our customers knowing that where our dark data exists um, we will find that data and protect that data okay so how do we do this in the most efficient way as possible okay so let's dive straight into the demonstration here and i'll show you how we do this so in the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go into the connect section here and we're going to make sure we're doing the quickest possible ingestion and that's just by indexing the metadata. So let's go in here first, and we're gonna ask our system administrator to create the repositories. Now we can see we've got a number of different repositories here. We've got our team sites, content manager exchange on the file system. These are maybe across different locations, uh, the co different company offices where we've got this data. And we're gonna ask particularly, the, the key feature here is that although we have got data in a cloud or in the London office here, I've got content manager exchange, file system, mixture of different repository, but the key feature here we need to add is the ability to just index the metadata first, because that's the most quick and it's efficient way that we can um, get some ingestion information. So the key feature is across each of your repositories, you need to be able to just index the metadata. So you can see on this example here, um, I've got my tech, technical documents um, file system here, and I've just said, just index the metadata. Now, just index the metadata it won't tell me where the sensitive data is. This is the first stage to get an ingestion process. Once we've got the metadata across all our different repository types here, we can go straight to the manage section. So we can go straight from the connect section through into the manage section here to create um, some sampling of those particular workspaces. And we've got a new business process um, which operates as a workspace template. This business process is called risk assessment using sampling. This is a template that's provided out of the box with the system. So if I show you one, so in this example here, I've asked it to take all the files across all the repositories and do a 10% sample. So if we click on this, I'll show you how it got created. So here I'm in my risk assessment 10% sampling workspace. And you can see I've already created a data source for all my repositories. And then the, I don't need to do, 
I can see the information as metadata. I will see a date timeline because we get that as a metadata. And I'll get the file types as information, but I probably won't get any tagging information until I've indexed the content. And we do that through the workbooks. So if we go straight to the workbooks on the section, we can create a data process that does our sampling. Now I've created them all for you here. So I've actually already done this, but I'll show you how they got created. So I've got some sample sizes of each of those repositories. Notice that they're all different numbers because they're all different sizes of repositories. We do this through this new task option. So I click on the new tax task option here. We've got an additional option here called random sampling. And it's really very simple to use. Just click next and it defaults to 10%. And it's suggest and it where it does it default, it suggests that we collect 10% of each one of the repositories here. So you can see with the large repositories, we obviously taken a larger sample size and smaller we're going to take a smaller sample size. You may decide that uh, we need to take a bigger sample size of certain repositories. So we get a sample size of this one, we may increase it. In all reality, these numbers, you know, will be much bigger than this. So let's say you, you may you may say that with us, uh, um, a repository that's got a million documents in, we're quite happy with a thousand is a good enough sample size or 10,000 is a good enough sample size. But you can adjust each one of these as much as you like to define what's the best sample size you want of each one of these repositories. Once you're happy with the sample size, you just click next, you give it a prefix, and then hit the finish, and these will be automatically created for you. In the background, what happens all for you is it will go, the system will go and do a random sample of each of those repositories and select a random sample of the files. And then it will go and do the deeper analysis. It will go and look for the credit cards. It will go and look for the financial details. It will go and look for the names and addresses. All the things that represents a level of risk to you. Okay. So once that's complete, you will then be able to get the results and do the analysis. So let's go and look at another example. Here's one of my technical documents, risk assessment 10% sample. Here, you can see that We've only, we've got a 16% sample size here. So a 16% we've indexed the metadata and the content. So we've done full analysis. And here, most of it is just metadata. <clears throat> so, so we will see now we've got information in the tagging. So we've got, we are at that date information before. So we can see of all the things that we've indexed the full content, we can see how much of that is tagged. So we can see of the sample size, 16% sample size that we found, we found three items of medical data, 10 items, 10 email addresses. So that, you know, there's quite a lot of email addresses in these documents and we found one name. So this gives an idea of what we found, but what we really need to do is do some estimation, estimations. So, you know, we need to predict how important this, this repository is, how much sensitive data it is. And, we, and we've got some additional things inside the analyze section that give us this. So here we can go straight down, down for into the analyze section, and we've got a new dashboard to show you. This new dashboard is called the estimated sensitive data dashboard here. And now there's an extra drop down here where you can just look at a particular repository. So let's look at our technical documents file system, particularly. So. If I'm looking at my technical documents file system, you can see if I just hover over the, the, the top banner here, you can see that we have 37 of the 238 documents were sampled. So we've got a 16% sample size there. But of all that, 49% of the items contain a level of sensitivity. So, so, so there's some level of sensitivity. But we can see that of that level of sensitivity, there's none that are sensitive. There's none that are highly sensitive. So we were looking for just to check if there was any really high sensitive data in there that might mean we might take some protection actions. Fortunately, there isn't, you know, and we, we can double check that and see what's ones are contained with inside this one. So let's, we can click on this bar and just double check this information to make sure it's correct. We can see that these mo these con it's got a relatively low risk score and contains email addresses. We can see that 
All right, you can see the email address here. So it's just a feedback email inside some documentation, entire, some technical documentation with inside this information. So we, we can be confident, and we, there's different ways we can cut this. We can cut up the, the file types. They're all HTML documents with a low risk score with email addresses. So we can feed back to the team that this repository contains a low level of sensitivity. So our technical documents, we don't have to take any special actions. We can concentrate perhaps on more the, the financial data with inside the system to take our protection actions. So as a summary, let's go back to our homepage and see what we've done. We've been able to connect to some data and we've been able to connect to it in a fast, efficient operation. So we've just indexed the metadata. Then we've, through the manage action, we've done a sampling exercise. So we've random sampled just a certain percentage of our repositories and done deeper analysis on that random sample and then use that analyze to view those results to do some predictions about how much sensitive data is in inside the whole repository to enable us to take further action okay so i hope you found that enjoyable thanks very much and uh, bye for now